Previously on Sailing New Horizons, we explored the beautiful islands of Gunayala. We then set sail for Shelter Bay Marina. A few days later, we left Shelter Bay Marina en route for Rio Chagres. Where are we going today? We're heading over to Rio Chagres. Filling up the dinghy. It's the workout of the day. Finally all in the dinghy and we're heading into Rio Chagre. The entrance is right up there. There's the entrance to the river. Rio Chagres was explored in 1527 by Hernando de la Serna who founded the town of Chagres at its mouth and built the fortress of San Lorenzo. Goods were transported on foot from Panama City to the town of Cruces on the Rio Chagres, and from there by sailboats on the river all the way to its mouth. This path, called Camino de Cruces, was very popular until the 18th century. The pirate Henry Morgan traveled the Chagres River to attack Panama City in 1670 to 1671. Not much attention was focused on the river until the late 19th century, this time as part of the planning for construction of the Panama Canal. The Chagres River is the Panama Canal's chief source of water. The river's upper basin is covered by dense tropical forests. Now that's what we're going to explore today. Now here's something I certainly don't see every day. This is either a dead crocodile or a caiman. Uh, can anybody help us identify it? If you know what this is, leave it in the comments below. Well, this is as far as we were able to make it via dinghy. On the other side of that dam is an artificial freshwater lake known as Gatun Lake. Gatun Lake is an integral part of the Panama Canal. In one of our previous episodes, we outline in detail our transit through the Panama Canal from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean. Feel free to check out that episode for some footage of Gatun Lake. Now here is something you do not see every day, a chicken on a boat. And of course, boat life wouldn't the be complete without pump. some projects. No, no, the other one. Which one? The one on the panel. That's been on. Oh, I'll turn it on. In this case, we're trying to unclog a bilge pump. Is 
that where the bilge pump would suck from? Yeah. I feel it's sucking lightly. I feel like there's something in the system. All right, you can turn it off. Do you think it's clogged? Yeah. And for the next project, we're going to cut those furry ends off the Genoa sheets. What are you doing? Do you have trouble being penetrated? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> well, like, you should try using super penetrance. What is that for? It's to make penetration easy. <laughs> uh, no, it's for easily freeing rusted metal parts. Such as this rusted metal part right here. See, this should open easily and it, it doesn't. Art yeah. um, is stuck to the pin. So the pin turns freely within the shackle. Mm -hmm. See that? I see it. But I can't get the pin to turn freely hmm. within this piece. So I'm applying super penetrant to try and free it. Are you having trouble with your penetration needs? Well, then you should try super penetrant. Well, doesn't seem like it's working. <sighs> oh. Unfortunately, I was not able to get this piece to break loose. If anyone has any ideas, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching until the very end of this episode. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the thumbs up button, and the notifications bell. Stay tuned for next time to see where we sail to next. See ya!